not only is prohibition ineffective, it's incredibly dangerous and deadly. One of the biggest problems that we're facing across North America right now is the opioid crisis, the tainted drug supply that is killing so many people. In British Columbia, over the time of COVID, we have lost way more people to our tainted drug supply and overdose crisis than we have to the COVID virus. So a lot of people are speaking out in favor of complete decriminalization of all substances right now, including the so-called hard drugs like opiates and cocaine, because it is not knowing which drug you are taking by taking an illicit supply, that's what's killing people. So the Canadian Chief of Police Association has spoken out in favor of complete decriminalization. This is outstanding. Even the police are saying we need to decriminalize drugs right now. That means a lot for the police to come out and say that. A lot of their budget comes from criminalizing these substances. So that's a very big deal. Our now very famous health, uh, provincial health officer, bon Dr. Bonnie Henry, she, has, she spoke out last year in favor of decriminalization and has again recently. Even our premier in British Columbia now, John Horgan, he just came out a couple of days ago from when we're shooting this video to say that decriminalization needs to happen. The city of Vancouver itself has said that. Uh, members of parliament like Green Party MP Paul Manley and Liberal MP Nathaniel Erskine-Smith, these people have spoken out in favor of decriminalization. So this isn't quite a fringe movement anymore. This is a movement that is being fueled by people on the ground who know that decriminalization, or pardon me, that prohibition is killing people and decriminalization needs to happen. You can help us by getting involved at decriminalizenature.ca.